don't take hair advice from just anybody any tom jerry and harry do not do not do not please firstly you don't know where that person comes from basically so that person's hair growth could be entirely because of their genetics and their bloodline and their dna maybe they grew up maybe they were born into a family where everyone has just long hair okay and now that person wants to come here giving you a list of you you why do this do this you buy all the expensive products and nothing happens to your hair nothing because they're lying to you they're not telling you that listen i got a grandmama with some indian in her with some with some white in her or whatever there's a lot of black girls in this world that don't look mixed that are mixed and that's nothing wrong i'm just saying oh team everybody needs to be straight up and tell people that listen i am some type of mixed and the reason my hair growth is this rapid is because of my genetics and that's okay i'm gonna say i'm not gonna say a huge part but a, a quite a bit of percentage part of my hair growth is also because of genetics my mom has super um full and long hair and her hair grows at a rapid rate more than mine and my, i think my mom's hair is about four it's a four b it's a four b it's not even a four c type hair okay um she has really good hair and she gave that to me you know but it is also because of how i treat and take in my hair okay when i made the decision decision to become a natural to cut my hair it was a decision of like okay i'm gonna work hard at this like work hard at it i bought products and everything and i listened to youtubers who lied to me they lied to me luckily i had good genetics so my hair was gonna grow anyway so guys i'm telling you right now my type of hair before you go and watch this video my hair is 4c low porosity hair if that is not your hair type click off this video right now click it off okay you can still watch the video no problem no Allah subscribe okay you know subscribe but I'm just saying don't use the tip that I'm giving you if you're not my exact type hey okay because it's gonna put you in the what the dungeon the gotcha like me if you want to know what porosity is I will be saying it later on in the video and I will live leave videos in the description box of people who just explain what porosity is pretty well and how to check what porosity your hair is okay i don't know why i'm talking loud okay and i'm talking fast but i'm trying to go because the time is my time it's run out and you guys need to watch this video yeah so basically that's all i have to say yeah just watch the video now <laughs>
when I put oils or when I moisturize within a few days or within one day my hair is dry again and because my hair is is not moisturized okay it then tends to break more than you know if my hair was moisturized <laughs> So the shampoo I use is this shampoo right now by Palmer's. Um, it is the cleansing shampoo for weak, fragile, or breakage prone hair. Um, I love this shampoo. Um, it has sweet almond, macadamia, jojoba, and avocado oil, and also um, it has coconut oil with vitamin E. Um, I love 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 this shampoo. It smells so great and I feel like it adds so much moisture to my hair and a lot of shampoos are really drying so because my hair is low porosity it's really good to have a shampoo that is not drying. Okay y'all so basically what I'm doing here I parted up um, my hair into different sections so it'd be easier to like wash in sections because I got thick hair and I gotta get you know all the hair clean. So this is me going section by section applying shampoo and washing and then I braided um each part that I braided out I braided it back like I got you guys gonna see okay yeah like this so this is me braiding back my braid so that i can differentiate that okay i'm done with this one i'm gonna put it into a little pom-pom thingy and i'm gonna do the rest This is me going in one more time with the shampoo. I'm not going to unbraid anything. I'm just going to, you know, by the surface, just apply shampoo and just rinse it off so I can be extra squeaky clean. Um, to deep condition, I'm using the Palmer's um, Coconut Oil Formula with Vitamin E. It's a deep conditioning protein pack for dry, damaged, or colored hair. Um, I am going to change this um, deep conditioner. I'm going to get a new one because obviously, nah, this is not for me. But either way, um, I think this is good. It works well. Um, so yeah, I bought this as this came along with the shampoo. Okay, class, and be important. So this part here, basically what I'm doing, I'm applying my uh, deep conditioner. Y'all seen it. And then I'm using my detangling brush. It has like different um, brush bristles. So it differentiates from a normal brush to a detangling brush. And this is me combing my hair. I'm combing it thoroughly till I can smoothly comb through the hair without feeling any knots. It's very important for you to detangle your hair while it's wet with some conditioner. Because if you don't do that, you detangle it when it's dry. It's going to break off. So, yeah, important. Here, I am just simply twisting my hair into little twists. And then after I'm done with my twist, I'm going to put on my shower cap. I actually doubled up on shower caps. I put two shower caps and then I put a bonnet on because, you know, I'm trying to keep it like warm. You need to have heat and whatever so we can deep condition, deep condition well. And yeah, so I stay with my deep conditioner for about, I think, one and a half hour, if not maybe two hours. I was just too lazy to wash it. So, yeah. You don't have to sit two hours. You could just sit, do 30 minutes and then you're fine.
Y'all see that? That little curl pattern peeping through? Y'all see my little curl pattern? Mm, okay, baby. Okay guys, so my hair is squeaky clean and I conditioned it, deep conditioned it. So now I'm just going to oil my scalp with the coconut and sweet I'm almond um Auntie Jackie's curls and coils. Can you guys see it? Yep. Now I'm going to go in with the uh, Jamaican mango and lime black um, custard oil into, oh my gosh, this is so hard to open. So, okay guys, uh, this right here is a, an important part and I've never done this. My hair um, has yet to feel what a hair dryer feels, you know, since it's been two years since I've hair dried my hair. But because I watched a couple, you know, YouTube videos and I researched and it says if you have low porosity hair, it really helps um, when you stretch your hair with heat but it doesn't now mean that you must go and grab your brush and no relax relax girl rest that's not what it is i'm gonna show you guys a proper way to do it without getting heat damage but this is only if you have low porosity hair if you have high porosity hair this right here baby girl is not for you it's gonna ruin your hair okay so firstly, I'm going to put it, um, I'm going to put this right here on medium and then on high right here. Is this high? Yeah, it's high. And then medium. Long rack, listen up. I'm going in a strategy like a technique so as you can see one two three little pumps at the bottom and then at in the middle and then you know my end so i split my hair up into three sections and i'm going in those three sections around that little box of hair that i created so i'm not staying for a long time with the with the hair dryer i'm just like one two three seconds you get me and then I'm moving on to the middle part, to the last part. One, two, three. One, two, three. Every section, one, two, three, one, two, three. Do not now overhead dry, overheat, because now it's going to be damaged, and then you're going to say it's my fault. It's not my fault. You know, listen. So, everybody clear? Okay, class. Get back to the video. okay guys so i am done and i'm gonna moisturize my hair chair my bra is coming loose um 
So this is the oil right here. That's the shiny thing. So I have this Cantu um, Sheer Butter Daily Oil Moisturizer. Replenishes moisture, helps protect against breakage, tangles and frizz, softens strands, and adds shine. Okay. I'm gonna use this to moisturize my hair like this. You definitely need more than one pump because, I mean, first of all, look at my hair. I'm going to take my Afro comb. Some people call it an Afro pick, whatever you call it. And should I make it? No. Okay, guys, here's my little high puff. Um, my hair kind of shrunk. Not kind of, it did. It did shrink because I put this on and this is a liquid. So, this is not my full length. I feel like it's not even. Is it even? Comment down below if you think it's even. Okay, so I am done. So now I'm just going to put some more. Oh, that is a lot. Me nervous. She's just standing here staring at me, y'all. Like a crazy person. With a mask. Let me show you. She's <laughs> 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 trying to run away. Okay, y'all. The video is done. Thank you guys so much for watching in this video. I hope you learned a lot from my little wash day hair regimen hair routine if you did do me a favor smash the like button comment down below and if you're new to the channel subscribe i'm gonna see you guys in my next video Bye. <laughs>